Hi friends and welcome to another one of my off the cuff reflects. So this is our last practice of slow down September. It was due to come out yesterday but I've been preparing for our first soulful Sunday which was this evening just finished around half an hour ago. So that's a new online offering once a month on a Sunday. It's themed, carefully curated. This was our autumn equinox one. I'll be thinking about a theme for our next one. Um, so if you want to join us online, cozy up at home, perfect opportunity for an hour for you. So I hope that you have found Slow Down September useful, whether or not you've dipped in and out of some of the practices, whether or not you have committed to practicing daily. If you have, that is amazing. Um, let us know your thoughts. Has it helped you to build a habit for yourself? What have you enjoyed? What would you like to see more of on the YouTube channel? So it might be the end of Slow Down September, but it's really just the beginning of Yoga Born YouTube. We're going to continue to put practices on there regularly, and we're really committed to this accessible and inclusive space where you can just log in, find something that serves you no matter how you're feeling, what time of day or night it is, and enjoy it. And we would love to, of course, see you in the studio or live online for a class, a workshop. And we are also really committed to our community. So we've just enjoyed our second year of yoga in the park. We had an absolutely amazing turnout. So thank you to everyone who supported us with that this summer. Um, and we now have another offering for you to bring our community together. And this is called Autumn Ambles. So it was something that we thought about last year, but it was too soon for us to launch it. We'd just taken over the business last year in August. And uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, there was a lot going on. There still is, but we really want to continue to commit to getting the community together, especially as we move into the darker months. So it can be uh, lonely for some people. We can go into that hibernation mode, which has its real plus points. But also we want to make sure that we're still getting out, getting some fresh air. So Autumn Ambles will be an opportunity for everyone to be involved, to meet at some of the beautiful spaces, green spaces, parks in Birmingham, and then perhaps pop back to the studio with us, have a warm drink, have a slice of cake, have a chat. So we've popped some information about that on our social media. Keep a lookout for the first one, which will be on the first weekend in November. And we've also got coming up in two weeks time, our autumn market. So another opportunity to support the community, small businesses, um, and to get people together shopping small. So we'd love to see you at these different events. Um, and we really hope that you feel that you're benefiting from Yoga Born and from our ethos, our values of compassion, connection and community. So Slow Down September has been a good one for me as well, I think, to get into a regular habit of popping practices out and also of reflecting for me daily or weekly so as we transition from one month into another, plenty of things can change. Um, things can change hour to hour, day by day. And just having those moments to pause, to take stock is a really healthy habit. And autumn is definitely the time of releasing as well as welcoming new beginnings, but opening up space for ourselves. We don't necessarily need to fill that space with something else. Sometimes uh, we can just let go, find some space, find some calm, and just be with that space and calm. So I'm going to read you just a very short little passage, something that I read in our Soulful Sunday. Let it go. Then see what kind of magic returns in its place. Because I promise you that what's for you will never reach you while you're clinging to something else. And that's by April Green. 
So it is a very important time, as I've discussed in our other reflects, of just taking stock. What is serving us? What maybe isn't serving us? And in kindness, can we let some things go? And that can be a challenge or some things it may be quite easy. It might be a relief to let things go. But definitely worth just slowing down as we move into autumn and then into the height of year and into winter. Finding that balance between staying active, but also resting. So perhaps you would like to reflect on that after this. Perhaps you want to go back and listen to our other reflects. What are you bringing to harvest in this season of your life? What do you need to sift through and release? So I really hope that you've enjoyed Slow Down September as much as we have enjoyed putting our practices out. Thank you to the other teachers who've been involved with that as well. Thank you to our growing community for your support. It's been lovely to read emails and messages about how you found the practices beneficial. And yeah, it's, it's been really good for us. So thank you. We hope it's been good for you. And our schedule has changed slightly as we move into autumn and winter. So you can find all that information online or on our social channels and we would love to see you soon, whether that's at a class, a workshop, one of our walks, lots more coming up as well. So take really good care of yourself. Remember to nourish yourself well, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And take the time that you need to take stock. So take very good care of yourself. Please do let us know if there's anything special that you'd like to see on the YouTube channel or in general in the studio or online. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>